Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of the Ruby from Scratch video. So in this episode right here, uh, we're going to be covering arrays. So now we're starting to get, you know, into more and more of the fun stuff. Uh, in the previous episode, we covered string, we took a look at integers, we took a look at an instance and uh, class methods. So uh, in this episode, we're going to take a look at arrays. So the easiest way to think about arrays is just, it's a list of things, right? Um, so for now, if you're just starting out, that's all you need to know in your head. It's just a list of stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a couple of strings and I'm going to add into an array and then I'm going to add a couple of numbers into the array as well. And I'll show you what you can actually do once you have an array of stuff. So list equals, um, and so we're going to start with an empty array. So that's how you declare an empty array, um, the two square brackets. And then uh, what we can do in this list is we can append stuff into it. So list plus equals, and then we can do something like Zach. So I can add the word Zach into this list. So, whoops, so uh, we need to make sure that it is an array like that. So basically now we have Zach inside of the array. So if I do list, you can see that we have that Zach right there. So I can also add a number. So list plus equals number two, and then we can have Zach two like that. So um, now we have two items. So let's say, for example, we want to add, let's say another name. So over here we can add Savika. There we go. So now we have three things and then uh, let's add another number. Three, like that. Uh, and then uh, we can add another number, uh, another name. And we can even just do something like this. So you can see that, uh, you know, we have uh, three names, three integer, uh, three strings and three integers in here. So what we can actually do now is we can loop out this uh, you know, every item in this list. So list, so we can do something like list dot each do um, n, and then here we can do puts n, end. So you can see that it actually looped out Zach number two, Savika number three, Pavit number one. So Pavit is the name of my son, by the way, and Savika is the name of my wife. So just so you know, totally irrelevant, but anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, you know, in general, you can do a lot more. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go and search the Ruby doc for array and you'll be able to see all the, the instance methods and the public, the class methods that you can call on an array. And uh, you see also how you can actually call it. Uh, so I don't want to spend more time. I'm going to keep this short. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Become a member on our site for nine bucks a month. And, uh, you know, you see uh, a lot more content there. Uh, we have Rails content, Rails API. Um, and, you know, the goal of this series is to get you guys uh, enough Ruby that you can go over into actually building something cool with Rails. So you can check out a lot of that stuff on our site. So with that, I want to wrap up this episode uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.